Okay, folks, when I was uh, looking at this result, this is the second segment of that pressure fit problem. I noticed that on the left side there is a high uh, unreasonable stretches, uh, stresses. And I have a good suspicion of why this may be the case because when I created that model, remember that brass, uh, bronze, and the steel uh, parts that I made? In that corner, I suspect that the two, uh, the two lines from the uh, from uh, uh, from the, the steel and the bronze are not complete completely aligned. So let's go and find out. I'm going to start the product file. It's right there, and I can see. See, there's this kind of angle there, and uh, my suspicion. Oh, let's go fix it then. So we go here to uh, the it's the bronze part that I made, the inside one, that may probably has a problem. So uh, let's see, uh, part body had the sketch. Okay, you see this? These two are not lined up. I knew that. Uh, I think this one should go through the origin, and this one should go through the origin. So let's let's make sure that this happens. This control that center point we make it coincident so that they it goes if it's not already i think that already was so the problem must be in the steel part then so let's go here double click on uh, on the steel so it puts us there and then we go to the pad here sketch there and this line control that point there must be coincident. I think this is the one that's missing. Oh, okay, good, good, good. Now it's all right. Okay, so now we have to make sure this line is is uh, coincident with this. So we exit that. Okay, good. Let's go back to the bronze. And now we want this line to be coincident with that line. They line up. Uh, there must be some other issue here. Let's see now. Uh, all right, you know what? Uh, there's some constraints here, like this, some constraints that I may have to delete. Uh, let me see, this one I'm gonna delete. This one I'm gonna delete. Now I'm gonna say this coincident with uh, that. Oh, there's something else. What else is there that's stopping this from happening so let's see uh, you know the easiest thing is the easiest thing just delete this damn thing okay so oh you know what we projected that Darn. okay <coughs> is this the yellow one was a projection so can I uh, either delete it or uh, perhaps uh, uh, let's see now uh, what's the best way of dealing with this you select this right click isolate uh, isolate okay now I can make this yeah now it's okay that line actually that was sitting there I didn't have to delete it see that one projection and a rush basically made me waste all this time so now this line control that coincident this is what it would not do because it was a projection good everything is okay oh there's a problem here uh, this point control that point also coincident believe me this is going to solve the problem so exit this go to analysis where's the analysis go to analysis there we are and if we run it we're not going to see that artificial you know stress that we saw there before believe me i never promised you a rose garden i mean these are things that happen it has, may have something to do with cat it may have something to do with your modeling and uh yeah well now you learn something so i bet if i plot the stress now it's going to be nice and uh, circular pattern oh <laughs> all right so there is, see this this has to do with that uh, 
with those restraint with that drawing there all right do it again try it bite the bullet do it let me see what the issue is uh, did we have a restraint here I'm not sure the I think I had the I think wait a minute yeah, it's still it looks like these these are not this this slider surface doesn't look right here so let me deactivate this plot as far as the geometry is concerned I'm, I know there's no issue there was a problem I fix it fixed it where is that surface slider ah oh, surface slider missing there good because all the cha changes that I made the surface slider was lost here I'm gonna hang myself if this doesn't work. It's gonna work, believe me. Run it. Okay, circular pattern, yes. <laughs> all right. Okay, now first of all, notice a few things. You might say, what the heck is this gap? The reason there is a gap here is that physically, of course, it's not there. The reason is that the, the steel is trying to move uh, 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 is trying to move in the bronze is trying to move out and uh, well, well, you know the, the computer computer basically Katia uses a scale so that you can see a thousand times or something that's why it looks like this so uh, let's change the scale to one which is in reality what's exactly happening reality is scale of one there you see there is no gap the other thing you see that is that there is a the, the biggest stress is the biggest one Mesa stress is the one Mesa stress and I'm not we're not discussing the numbers here but the big is is at the interface I already told you that there is a discontinuity at the interface you can see by the way if you don't like these uh, smooth uh, you know uh, shading just double click on this so go on uh, more I guess not more you go on, uh, you click on this box, and you say, don't show me the smooth, smooth shading. Show me the, you know. Now, we know what the issue is, first of all. There is a bad mesh here. You have to refine the mesh in this area. And uh, uh, it's going to be nice and uh, uh, circular band. In fact, let's try this. So let me go here, double click on this. Let's make it smooth. I can I, I I need to refine it only in that area, but I'm gonna make it small everywhere. So how about making it 0 0.05 for this and 0 0.05 for the other one. And let's give it a try, see what happens. 0 0.05 for the other one. Uh, maybe 0 0.03 for the other one. 0 0.03 for the other one. Okay. Did I change it? Oh, I changed the sag, sorry, 0.03. Okay, good. Uh, let's run this thing. Obviously, it's a finer mesh. I bet those, uh, you know, jagged uh, contours are going to disappear. Never mind about this. Say yes. It's going to take longer. Okay, let's look at the contours of one Mesa stress. There it is. So a lot of the jaggedness is lost, but of course you can do better than that. Huh? Anyway, that solved our problem. I will try to do one more example which deals with bolts, okay? Uh, virtual bolts, and we discuss the actual bolts that is one of the chapters in the book also. Uh, please don't forget to save for your final exam. And uh, this is going to be taking care of this.